Um, with regards to, let me explain once again, and I hope for the last time, teacher trainee allowances, nursing uh, trainee allowances. Teacher trainee allowances, for reasons of equity, they used to be training colleges, and they used to issue set A and set B teacher training certificates. We decided that these colleges should be upgraded to colleges of education and become universities and issue degrees like Kipkos, like Winneba, and all. We did that and we upgraded them. And so they come out with the same certificate that their colleagues in Cape Coast and Winneba and Legon come out with. But because we were paying trainee allowances when it was teachers at A and B, at that time we were not producing enough graduate teachers and we had a lot of people teachers in the system. Everybody wanted to go to safe home and go to university. Nobody wanted to go to training colleges. So we introduced trainee allowances to entice people to come into training colleges. That is why it was introduced. Now we've upgraded them. They are universities. And so people are going to Cape Coast, people are going to the colleges of education to get university degrees to become professional graduate teachers. And you're paying one group trainee allowances, and one group you say, no, you go and take student loans. It, it doesn't make for equity. That's the first uh, issue. And the second issue is, as the numbers increased, you understand, it became a burden on the budget, and so they issued what they call the quota. And so each college was giving the number of people it could admit that the budget could sustain the training allowances. And so all the colleges were half empty. And if we want to accelerate the training of teachers to replace so that we don't have untrained teachers teaching our children, then we need to fill those colleges. And so we said, okay, now that these are colleges of education, let's take the trainee allowances away, one for equity, so that they are at par with their colleagues, and give them student loans. You don't pay the loan until you get a job as a teacher. And then fill up the vacancies. And so since we took away the trainee allowances and replaced them with the student loan, we have increased enrollment into the colleges of education by 63%. It means that 63% of the students who are there today and angry about student uh, 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 teacher training allowances will not be there if we're still paying training allowances. And so it gives more people the opportunity to be trained. It makes us train more teachers so that we can take out all the untrained teachers in the system and be able to post uh, qualified teachers into our schools. That is the explanation about teacher training allowances. With nursing trainee allowances, we decided that we're going to migrate them to onto student loan. And so we, we, drew, we were to withdraw the uh, nursing trainee allowances. But this even, it's not a policy that started. It came from the previous administration uh, in 2008. There's a management letter they wrote saying that they were going to withdraw nursing training allowances and use the funds instead to ensure that they created more opportunities for nurses to be uh, employed. And so when we came, that policy had been indicated for the budget of that year, but we didn't start implementing. We looked at it and said, okay, let's move them onto a student uh, uh, loan. Then our attention was drawn that they don't qualify because the Student Loan Act does not allow you to put nursing uh, uh, trainees on student loan. And so we set up a committee to look at it, and the committee said, okay, amend the law so that you can put them on student loan. But while you're amending the law, give them an abated allowance so that they're able to look after themselves while you go through the process. And so based on the committee's recommendation, we said, okay, pay them an abated allowance. And so they're being paid an abated allowance, not at the level they used to receive in the past, but a lower uh, allowance so that they're able to make ends meet until we amend the student loan trust law to, to accommodate them. That's the explanation. Right. Thank you very much. I hope much. that everybody has heard for the last time. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much, Your Excellency.